Our world is full of colors. Just look at the meadows filled with colorful flowers. There are also flower gardens which fill our eyes with colorful blossoms. Even candy sweets are made colorful to be attractive to the eyes. The eyes, synthetic or not, are sources of different colors in the things that we see every day. These dyes are also used for food coloring which are responsible for the wonderful colors that make us great for food. Flowers around us also contain natural chemicals which are responsible for their color. The colors that we see around us are actually the colors included in the visible spectrum. The seven major colors which make up the spectrum are the only light waves that we can see. Without light, we actually cannot see things as colorful. They will all be black. These waves differ in the wavelength and frequencies, which is the reason why there are so many colors. In between the boundaries of which and every color in the visible spectrum are numerous shades of color on its either sides. For example, between yellow and red, we could see orange. Orange is a combination of two colors. And this is an example of a secondary type of color. The seven major colors seen on the visible spectrum are not all primary colors. The only primary colors in the visible spectrum are red, yellow, and blue. Now, we present to you Candy Swiss Chromatography. materials, beakers, paint brushes, filter paper strips, water, paper clips, pencil, and candy sweets of different colors. The first thing we will do is fill the beakers with water about 1 cm high. Next, we set aside the beakers that we have filled with water and work on the next step for our experiment. Take the filter paper strips and draw a horizontal line about 1 cm from the bottom. Do this on the filter paper strips that you need. And now, for the exciting part of our experiment. Take one kind of candy sweet and prepare your paintbrush and an extra beaker with water. Remove the color from the candy sweet by using the paintbrush. Make sure to dip the paintbrush first in the water for easy removal of the color. After you have removed the color, a 
immediately transfer this circuit to paper strip. Make sure it is 1 cm above the pencil line that you have drawn a while ago. Do this on all the colors that you have in your game suites. Next, place each strip in a beaker and fasten it in place using a paper clip. Do this in a vertical position so that the bottom will be soaked first in the water. Now, here is our setup and we are ready to let the water rise up and filter paper and separate individual colors. In the dye coloring is Observe what happens to the colors. After a while, we can see that the water has reached the top of the filter paper. Dye colorings of two colors should now be separated from its component colors. Maybe one color is the top of the filter paper now, while the one stays at the bottom. Or maybe the entire dye color is not separate. This will show that it is not a combination of two or more dyes. Now, we will evaluate if there is a dye coloring which is a combination of two. This leads us to the conclusion that the dyes used as food coloring in the candy sweet stuff there were found to be of a single dye, which is the reason why we did not see the colors separate. Try the same kind of experiment using other sweets or different in colors and find out what you can find out. <laughs>